Hello. Let me check my phone first. <laughs> if things are working on my end. Things are working on my end. I can be heard naman. Well, diba? Hello po, good evening. So, um, give me, yeah, I will start at 6.05. At 6.05, I will start exactly. So usually, I'm going to go 5.55. <laughs> Para sana 5 minutes yung rapport. But I struggle ko konti sa setup. Hello. Okay. Oh my gosh. The people are here already. Okay. So for tonight's discussion, hello, Mom Maria, Mom Natalie, Mom Carl. Thank you so much for mentioning Mom Carissa. So for tonight, um, this is part of my free lecture. So the one that I promised na, yeah, I will be of service to our LPTs na take this March 17. And so here we are. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Sobrang pressured na ako, pero I know I can make it. It really happens, lalong lalo na kapag malapit na yung exam. You know, palagi na tayo nag overthink. You know, we try to contradict ourselves kung tama na ba yung napag-aralan natin or marami pa tayong concepts na hindi na memorize. Yeah, ano pwede natin gawin? You know, prepared naman lahat. Uh, for now, wala pang room assignment, right? So usually kapag, teka lang nga, medyo mainit eh. <laughs> usually kapag Malapit na yung board exam. Yan talaga yung hinihintay natin, yung room assignments, so that we can do a ano, room visit, di ba? Hello, good evening. Oh my gosh, there are people. I have lectured so many times. At nahihiya pa rin ako. So yeah, yan talaga yung nakaka-pressure. But that's fine, that's fine. Maganda yun. Maganda yun na napapressure kayo. It means you care about it. Yeah. Ah, oh, meron ng room assignment. Oh, that's good. So, I think hindi pa yan allowed na binivisit. Hindi pa yan allowed na binivisit. Or hindi pa kayo allowed mag-room visit. Kasi medyo malayo pa. You still have weeks. So, you can do room visit, I think, one day before. So, kapag malayo yung ano, school mo, kung saan ka mag-take, so you should arrange already, you know, your transportation or meron ka na bang titirhan. So, for example, if sa city yung exam, so you should arrange kung wala kang kamag-anak, maybe a hotel kasi baka magkaubusan or puno. Yeah. So, magastos talaga at ma-effort talaga yung mag-take. But, yeah, anyway, last naman. Right? Last nyo na naman. So, kaya yan, kaya yan. Ang layo na rong narating nyo, Kaya, yeah. Ma'am, kailan po yung final coaching? If you're asking, um, yung final coaching namin ni Ma'am Kim. So, March 11 is Ma'am Kim and March 12 naman ako. So, let me see. Yeah. Nag-final nag coaching na ako kay Sir Melvin. Yung mga sumali, it's a different content po, okay? And then, ano pa ba? We also have final coaching sa aming group, sa class ng Lao, pero it's not major, ano siya? Gen Ed and Prof Ed. So, magle-lecture ako at may magle-lecture din na top notchers. Yeah, yun lang. So, seven days yun. It will start on March 8. So, this is my second to the last sa aking free live. Yung next free live go, I think that's March 14. No, 13. Really? Ay, March 14 pala, guys. Mamumove yung next free live go kasi... So March 30, meron din akong another coaching. So topic doon is about, yeah, Prof. Ed. Yung parang sa major in English siya, pero Prof. Ed yung questions. You know, things like that. But anyway, for tonight, it's about authors. So it's about people, no? And I just compiled these authors na palaging lumalabas sa review or palaging lumalabas sa or sometimes lumalabas sa board exam, um, I do not claim na even I know them very well, very well, or I do not claim to know their works very well. So maybe if you have questions, I may not be able to answer, you know, accurate, accurately. But I compiled yung mga basic na, you know, facts about sa kanila 
para at least man lang, you know, ma, ma meet nyo sila or yeah, ma, ma familiarize kayo. So even the options I included, you know, like what year or anong era sila, ano yung mga famous works nila. Sometimes kasi para naman if you know them, kahit na nasa distractor sila, pwede nyo silang ma-eliminate if you know a little bit about them. So yeah. Anyway, good evening. So this is for major English authors, okay? Now, this is my free live, one of my free lives. So today is March 6, pero yung sa March 13, it will be moved to on to March 14. Kasi, yeah, I have another thing going on on March 13. So today, it's the people or the authors who frequent the LAT exam. Yung sa mga others naman, kapag hindi kayo naka-join, check nyo lang ang YouTube ko. It's Exams Jenny, okay? So it's where I discussed literature, linguistics, mythology, structure, literary terms. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and so on. And meron din ako dong general education na science and Filipino. So yeah, you can check and it's, it's really for, it's for free, it's free. <laughs> Walang bayad. So I really thought to myself that I have all this content, might as well share it with you. Kasi sayang naman, di ba? And I'm planning to acquire, I'm planning to learn more information, lalong lalo na sa upcoming final coaching. So content non ay mga, yeah, new curriculum items, yung mga items na lumabas on September 2023. But yung September 2023, but yung most important talaga sa akin is your skill in answering kasi wala naman talagang nakakaalam kung anong lalabas. You know, walang nakaka-predict kung anong lalabas. Sobrang laki ng scope. So the best that we can do is to, yeah, other than study, also learn our skill in answering, okay? So again, these are, itong mga questions na to ay factual questions. If you don't know, you don't know. So yeah, I hope I am heard well. Kasi paano ba naman, I'm using my ano, garlic pods. Let me check lang the sound. Alam ko anong lalabas. Okay. Narinig naman pala. So yeah, anyway, proceed na tayo. After this, I will be uploading it on my YouTube as well. So yeah, some of you are busy or having dinner. <laughs> so upload ko lang sa YouTube ko. Don't worry, okay? Now, review tip is always to learn how to attack the questions. You, This is the one thing that you will hear from almost everyone, you know, even the top notchers. So the board exam, it's not about just knowing what the correct answer is, but knowing how to find the correct answer. So yung TRC, they are looking for something. Kaya yun yung ibigay nyo, okay? Learn how to attack the questions. Don't be carried away with how you view things or ano yung point of view nyo or ano yung opinion nyo about that certain matter. You give them what they're looking for. Okay? Kaya nga, practice, practice it. So even if the questions are difficult, even if you really don't know, if you've never met it before, if you have tips, if you have the skill, masasagutan mo pa rin yan. So I am a living testament. I can assure you, my major in English exam during my time, it was so difficult and I was at least half sure na na. I was like, yeah, hindi talaga ako sure sa mga mga questions like I've never met them before they're all foreign they're all new pero naipasa ko naman siya and yeah medyo happy din ako sa rating ko and I think I really believe na yung nakatulong sa akin it's it's really the skill that I got while I was reviewing so I'm sure marami kayong questions ma'am anong kakainin anong anong dadalhin so yeah we'll get through that later okay but again all of these are people these are factual so maybe boring sa inyo kasi na I just really compiled the information, but I'm sure we'll have fun. And this is quite short, okay? Siguro hindi tayo aabuti ng isang oras. <laughs> there. Okay, so let's have it. Um, okay, please answer this one. Comment your answers, guys. With the original name of William Sidney Porter, he is an American short story writer whose tales romanticize the commonplace, in particular, the life of ordinary people in New York City. Is that William Faulkner, Franz Kafka, O. Henry, or Robert Frost? So kahit yung mga options ko, ginawa ko na ring malalaking tao para yeah, mabigyan ko rin sila ng information right after. But really, I don't claim the lagan. Talagang kilalang kilala ko itong mga tao ito, okay? Because some of their works, it's not my cup of tea. 
yung talagang author na gustong gusto ko is si Dan Brown. Yeah. I think siya lang. <laughs> oh, pa Paulo Coelho, of course, and Mitch Album. I have here. I think, yeah, I read also a lot of Mitch Album. But hindi sila lumalabas eh, sa board exam. Yung lumalabas sa major is itong mga, yeah, mas matatanda or mas sa sinauna pa. Anyway. So that's right. Kapag si Willi William Sidney Porter, yung ano niya is si O. Henry. Okay? Yung pen name niya. So let's get to know more about him. So known for his short stories and inventive endings. Oh, magagan. So this time we all learn together. Kasi, yeah, I, I just compiled the information. So he has famous works such as these. I included them kasi hindi naman sa sila yung itatanong, but maybe maging distractor itong mga works niya. So if you know, or maybe kahit na familiarize nyo man lang, so pwedeng pwede nyo ma-eliminate. I tell you, it's very powerful na familiar ka the moment you do your most intelligent guess. It's really powerful. Minsan nga, kahit hindi nyo pa na-meet yung items, um, kahit hindi nyo pa na-meet yung items, i-analyze nyo na lang yung title. The gift of ano ay parang fiction. The ransom a red, ah, parang fiction. Yeah. So, ganun yung mangyayari. Kaya it's really helpful na kahit na nadaanan lang ng mata nyo. Okay? So, get familiarized with those. But anyway, yung palaging tanong naman is ano yung pen name niya. So, si William Faulkner naman, he is considered one of the greatest writers of the 20th century. So, yung mga famous works niya, I think na-meet din natin lahat ito in college. I'm just here to refresh it for you. So, The Sound and the Fury, As I Lay Dying, Sanctuary, and that one. Yeah, hindi ako sure kung paano basahin, but Absalom, Absalom. So, yun lang palaging isasama is yung The Sound and the Fury and As I Lay Dying. But anyway, that is William Faulkner, always remember, 20th century. So, in the last board exam, yung mga tinatanong is yung mga era, di ba? Elizabethan, Edwardian, things like that. So, if we're familiar kung saang author na, or saang era na bibilong si anong author, then, yeah, we can, we have higher chances of choosing the correct answer. Anyway, let's proceed. Si Franz Kafka naman, yung famous na work niya is yung The Trial. So, he is a German-speaking, Bohemian-Jewish novelist. And a writer from Prague. Paano nyo ba yan basahin? Okay, problema nyo na yan. So again, kapag lumalabas si Franz Kafka, very often na itatanong is about the trial. So, so siya yung sumulat ng the trial, okay? Now let's move on. Again, this live won't be very long kasi wala naman akong ira-rationalize eh. I don't have to, you know, explain it bits by bits kasi these are factual knowledge. So, kapag tinanong yung author or anong era, if you don't know, you don't know talaga. Kaya it's good na, yeah, ma-meet naman lang ng mata nyo. Anyway, Robert Frost. So, deals realistically with his world through man and nature. So, usually, kapag si Robert Frost, yung mga works niya, what I remembered is, palaging merong option. You know, yung mga works niya, it's about options. So, stopping by the woods or the road not taken, nothing gold can stay, you know. There, there are options sa mga. So, that's one thing that you can take note on. So, yung question, so September 2023 is, ano daw ibig sabihin ng, well, okay, or what kind of road is the one that is not taken, you know. So it's more on inanalyze yung work niya. Anyway, if you want answers to that, you can always join my... <laughs> nag advertise pa rin. 55 pesos lang naman, guys. But anyway, if you don't have 55 pesos, you check my YouTube channel, okay? Libre lahat yun. Next. Okay, lamabas din na to. This is an actual board exam question. Amitan is an author known for what novel? Is it To Kill a Mockingbird in Search of Lost Time? The Little Prince or the Joy Luck Club? Comment your answers. And it's really funny kasi na-scan ko pa si Amitan sa very old notes ko during my time pa. And then lumabas siya, I think, March of 2023. 
So, so hindi mo talaga alam, you know, it, the questions are really unpredictable. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's surprising, di ba? Everyone who's asking me, Mom Jenny, sino si Amita? But you're right, it's letter D. So, the Joy Luck Club. So, ito yung pinakasikat ni Amitan. Okay, so hindi nyo kilala. Okay, at least ngayon, may mukha na si Amitan. <laughs> so, she is an American author of novels about Chinese and American Chinese American women and the immigrant experience. So, I'm thinking, yeah, it's about, you know, yung palipat-lipat ng tahanan. So, the struggle, I think that's that's what her works are all about. So anyway, to get familiar, ito yung mga ibang works niya. The Kitchen God's Wife, The Hundred Secret Senses, or The Bone Setter's Daughter. All right. Is this recorded? Yes, po. Uploaded sa aking YouTube, also called Exams Jenny. Next. But guys, you don't have to memorize, ha? Kasi, ma, you know, ma-over, ano yun? Ma-overload, information overload na kayo. Baka sasabog na yung utak nyo. So just meet, ah, okay, yan pala si Amitan. Oh, okay, yung novels ni pala is about Chinese-American women, you know, and their immigrant experiences. Yan pala, uh, di ba? <laughs> okay, may nag-comment yung Mahjong daw. Oh, really? Okay. If you say Harper Lee naman, so very special because she is awarded. The Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George Bush. So yung pinakasikat niya is To Kill a Mockingbird. Honestly, I have not yet read To Kill a Mockingbird. I really tried. Kaya lang yung meron ako is digital copy lang. And talagang sobrang pang, pang matalino ba yung book. As some of you, have you have you read? So maganda yan if you did. You know, Tell me about it. So I tried, pero... Yeah, I, I think I have to revisit it because it's hard to understand. And also, I want like the tal really actual books. I'm not so keen with digital because yeah, it's hard to read. But yeah, one of my goals, talaga, really, is to read *To Kill a Mockingbird*. It's really famous, and it's the really big break of Harper Lee. And in fact, a lot of our ano yun, mga, uh, politicians in the Philippines. They also, yung favorite book din nila is, yeah, To Kill a Mockingbird. So it's one of my target panambabasahin. It's the same with the first time I read A Song of Fire and Ice or Games of Thrones. I really paused for a while kasi parang wala ko maintindihan. It was so difficult. When I came back na, naintindihan ko na naman siya na konti-konti until I finished it. So ngayon hindi pa tinapos ng author. Hindi pa siya nag-release ng mga following. So, yeah, we're still waiting for an update. But for To Kill a Mockingbird, babalikan ko talaga to. <laughs> Para naman madiscuss ko sa inyo. Okay. So, anyway. We have this one. So, hindi ko rin alam kung paano basahin yung pangalan niya. It's French. So, Valentine Louis. Yeah, basta siya. Um, yung sikat niya lang na work is... Usually, yung lalabas na name niya is just Marcel Proust. Okay, itong last part. But I just added his full name, Marcel Proust. At yung sikat niya na work is In Search of Lost Time. So he was a French novelist, literary critic, and an essayist. Okay, so In Search of Lost Time. Hello, ma'am. Kumain ka na po. Hindi pa. Hindi na. Wala nang kain-kain. Kasi, yeah, kinalimutan ko na yung pagkain kasi mahal, you know. <laughs> Nagtitipid po tayo. Anyway, thank you so much for asking, Georgia. So, yan. Yan lang yung sikat na parts, okay? Si Marcel Prouts at yung work niya is In Search of Lost Time. In fact, translated mga yung title kasi French yung pagkasulat niya. Now, this is an actual board exam question. Who is not? An American or English writer who is not an American or English writer. Is it Leo Tolstoy, Edgar Allan Poe, Christopher Marlowe, or Mark Twain? Hello, Mom Jenny. Super late na naman. That's fine. That's fine. Wag pressure ang sarili, okay? Dapat nasa at peace na kayo. Pero okay din naman, yeah. I, I don't know. Iba-iba kasi tayo, eh. Ako, I work well with two things, you know. I work well kapag na-pressure ako. I also work well if I'm well-rested. 
<clears throat> ang nakap nakakapangit lang if I'm pressured, I'm unhappy. Yeah, I do well kapag pressured ako, pero hindi ako masaya. So yeah, I prefer to be. <laughs> Yun talaga, during the board exam, I was a lot pressured. It's because, you know, um, sa school kasi, I am a student leader. Char. <laughs> I'm not cum laude. I can imagine actually the pressure kapag lalo na some of you, di ba, graduate na cum laude. That's a lot of pressure. Kasi sasabihan ka ng tao, ah, oh, nag cum laude pa, hindi naman po masar sa let. Kasi, yeah, I, I have a schoolmate, tapos parang anak pa siya ng, yeah, you know, sikat dun sa school namin. And she had Latin honors, tapos hindi siya po masar sa board exam. So, she became a laughing stock and that was really scary. And I'm sure it's a lot of pressure on you. At ako naman, I, I was a president sa so parang school, whatever, you know. And, di ba? <laughs> and also my sister, yeah, one take lang niya yung board exam. So I was pressured, I did well, but I was not happy kasi parang always ka naninyerbios, right? Anyway, may possibility po ba ma'am na maulit yung questions? Honestly, based sa aking experience, you know, kasi if I do final coaching talaga, yung pinagbabasihan ko is ano yung lumabas sa recent the board exam. Possible yan for gen ed, possible din yan for prof ed, na talagang mauulit yung questions. For the major, it's always new. But, yung advantage is maybe meron silang inuulit na concept. So if you know already, but also, yung advantage talaga if you know na, if you practice with actual board exam is maaano ka, matitrain ka like, ah okay, ganito pala yung mga tanong sa let. That, but parang hindi, all of this are unfamiliar. So kapag, you know, napapractice ka with the actual questions, pagdating mo dun, right? But I mean, paano siya na iba? So at least man lang, right? For the major talaga, I, hindi ko often naririnig na nauulit siya. Talagang every season is bago, lalo na sa major. But Janet and Prophet, you are safe. Inuulit naman nila. But who knows, di ba? Hindi natin alam yung PRC. Kapag ulitin nila, then it's very good for you all. Anyway, so yung hindi English or American writer is si Leo Tolstoy. So he is Russian. So he is one of the greatest and most influential authors of all time. Yung sinulat niya is Anna Karenina and... War and Peace. So, yung Anna Karenina and War and Peace, I at least you should be, yeah, <laughs> at least alam nyo na si Leo Tolstoy yung sumulat niya. Si Christopher Marlowe naman yung sa options. I'm trying to decode the options, okay? So, the first English dramatist to reveal the full potential of blank verse poetry. Wow. So, yung famous works niya are The Tragical History of Dr. Faustus, if I'm right, and the Tamburlaine the Great. <laughs> Ang hirap naman ng titles. But anyway, you don't have to memorize everything, okay? So at least you know na si Christopher Marlowe is an English dramatist or an English writer and then, yeah, yan yung mga sikat na works niya. Next. So Samuel Langhorn Clements, sikat na, sikat na, sikat siya kasi yung Ano yan? Yung pen name niya is, yeah, si Mark Twain. So, I think I remember lumabas din ito. So, anong, anong pen name ni? Bonus na sa inyo, right? So, he is an American humorist, novelist, and travel writer. Yung mga sikat na works niya are The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Okay. Mas lalo kong kinakabahan sa major. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's proceed. That is Mark Twain. Okay. Now let's have another board exam question. Arlene J. Chai is a Filipino Chinese Australian author that wrote which of the following? So si Arlene J. Chai lumabas din siya. Di ba kanyo imagine? Actually, I, I, I can't find Arlene J. Chai in my notes when I was reviewing before. And also, yeah, <laughs> I haven't heard of any centers that they discussed, Shah. But anyway, what is her work? Is it The Book of Form and Emptiness, Deep Well, or Cadia, Little Fires Everywhere, or The Last Time I Saw My Mother? 
Okay, I, I, nasan ba yung, ano? Ah, you already have, ano ah? You have <laughs> an, a mnemonics already for the authors. That's good. Okay, so comment your answers. What do you think? Okay lang magkamali, okay? Kasi nagre-review pa naman. May nagtanong kung pwede ba daw mag-top yung nawala na eh. Pwede ba daw mag-top yung repeater? Honestly, I, I think yung para sa top notchers, it's just for first timers. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think so. They can have a very a huge average. Pwede malaki yung average nila. But yeah, I, I, I should double check on that. But I don't think so. The yung repeaters. But wag mo wala na pag -asa. Okay. It, yung repeater, yung yung average mo, if you retake, it could be pang top notcher, but I don't think it will be acknowledged. Yeah. You could be na ah, pang top three sana. Because I've heard a lot of people na pang top notcher sana yung average nila. But they were not recognized kasi repeater sila. Something like that. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Okay, you're right. So, maraming sumagot ng correct answer. It's actually the last time I saw my mother. So, yeah. So, ito si Arlene J. Chai. Nahirapan talaga ako maghanap ng picture. So, she is Filipino by birth, Chinese by ethnicity, and migrated to Australia with her parents. Ito yung mga famous works niya. The last time I saw my mother and eating fire and drinking water. So, as I've you know, search while I was preparing this presentation. Very challenging din yung motif ng mga works ni Arlene J. Chai. And she was also very much recognized with her works. Yeah. It's very... <laughs> Nakatama din ako kahit walang idea. Now, let us learn the other sino writers ng mga ano, other distractors. So, introducing... Si Ruth Ozeki, so she is an American Canadian novelist, filmmaker, and a Zen Buddhist priest. So ito yung mga sinulat niya. Again, you don't have to memorize everything, okay? Alam ko guys, kahit na mag-screenshot pa kayo. Yeah, hindi nyo pa rin yan. <laughs> Talagang maaalala, just familiarize. So my year of meets all over creation, a tale for the time being, and yung sa option, the book of form and emptiness. So ito siya. So again, very important yung familiar sa inyo, lalong-lalo na sa most intelligent guests. <laughs> so we have another one, Harry Josephine Giles. Is that correct? So siya yung sumulat ng Deep Wheel, Arcadia. So a writer and performer. Yeah, but anyway, not so much on that. Binigyan ko lang ng author yung Deep Wheel. Now let's continue. So ito si... Celeste, yeah, and then yung NG, I don't know, ing, yeah. So she is a writer in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So everything I never told you, little hearts everywhere are missing hearts. So yeah, that's her. As I said earlier, I don't claim to know like every single one, lalo na yung mga bago. So I included them. It's because I realized kasi katulad ni Amitan or Arlene J. Chai, you know, if they are included then hindi naman talaga sila, you know, wait, talagang foreign sila sa atin. So at least man lang, hindi talagang zero talaga yung knowledge natin. Right? <laughs> okay, so let's proceed. Eto, talagang masasagot ito. Ang hindi makasagot, ewan ko na lang. Who is the father of detective stories? Who is the father of detective stories? O, sige nga sa comments. So this time, yung lecture is just short, okay? I don't, I'm not a big fan kasi of, yeah, mga factual, <laughs> yung mga factual information. Yeah, like, I don't know. Okay, so that is right. It's Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Diba? Alam naman pala. So, my mukana si Edgar Allan Poe, you're welcome. <laughs> so, he is known for his poetry and short stories. So, particularly his tales of mystery and the 
Guys, honestly, I don't know how to read this one. Ma, ma, pronunciation, okay. Baka some of you hindi na alam. Oh. Ma oh, makab lang pala ito. Oh my gosh, really? Makab yung pagbasa nito. Mystery and the makab. <gasps> All right. So anyway, <laughs> yung sinulat niya ni Edgar Allan Poe, it's to Helen. Yung palagi lang ini-include sa word exams or Annabelle, the telltale heart. Meron ding, yeah, the cast of Amontillado and the fall of the house usher. So yeah, very frequent naman to Edgar Allan Poe, but you know them already. It's the same then with William Shakespeare, di ba? Yung mga Hamlet, Macbeth. Yeah, you know that already. So he is also known as the father of horror stories. So yeah, father of detective stories, father of horror stories. At ano yung motif ng works niya? It's gothic. Parang scary ba? You know, katulad kay Stephen King. Stephen King is the one who wrote it. Yung IT, si Pennywise. Yeah, very creepy. All right, now let's have another one. German novelist, short story writer, social critic, philanthropist, essayist, and, okay, basta yung keyword dito is the literature laureate. So 1929 Nobel Prize in Literature Laureate. Is it Paul Thomas Mann, Robert Browning, Robert Frost, or John Wycliffe? So please comment your answers. Let me look up to something. Oh, really? 1929. 1929. Okay. Sure, Nayan. Final, huh? So that will be. <laughs> okay, kasi palagi lumalabas si Robert Frost. But actually, it's Paul Thomas Mann. Okay, letter A po. So, 1929 Nobel Prize in Literature Laureate. It's Paul Thomas Mann. So, let me include some of the information. So, he is awarded, yeah, the Nobel Prize in Literature so, ito yung mga works niya, Death in Venice, The Magic Mountain, and so on. So, kanina, hindi ko na ibabalik si, do I have Robert Frost here? Hindi ko na ibabalik si Robert Frost kasi, yeah, I already discussed him earlier. Basta yung, <laughs> yung works niya, there are two options. So, that's Robert Frost, okay? But yung Literature Laureate, yeah, Nobel Prize in 1929, it's Paul Thomas Mann, okay? So, si Robert Browning naman, Yun talagang keyword niya lang dyan is dramatic monologue. Noted for his mastery of dramatic monologue and psychological portraiture. <laughs> Bakit ang hirap na words? So ito yung mga famous works ni Robert Browning, The Ring in the Book, My Last Duchess, and The Pied Piper of Hamelin. Oh, yung dila ko dito para ako natatang twister challenge. Okay, so basta Robert Browning, dramatic monologue. Kapag two options, yung works niya, it's Robert Frost, okay? Kapag literature laureate in 1929, that is Paul Thomas Mann. Okay, next. So si John Wycliffe naman. So an English theologian, philosopher, philosopher church reformer, and the promoter of the first complete translation of the Bible into English. So that's why I was looking up my notes kasi so si King James, siya yung yeah, first English translation, translation of the Bible, but yung first complete translation of the Bible into English, that is John Wycliffe, okay? Ang daming tao rin. Minsan nga, nalilimutan ko yung pangalan ng friends ko. Really? <laughs> but you have to remember all of this. Okay, how about this one? Who is alluded to as Captain 
in the following lines from Walt Whitman's poem, Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. Is it Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, John F. Kennedy, or Thomas Jefferson? So, sino yung captain sa Oh, Captain, my Captain? Pinamemorize namin ito in high school. Yeah, I think I was third year high school. At yung English teacher ko favorite ko talaga. I think we all have a point of our lives where, I think we all have a favorite English teacher, right? So, I remember, yeah, yung third year high school ako, she was. Grabe, ganda ng pronunciation. And she was an excellent teacher as well. So anyway, you're correct. It's letter A, Abraham Lincoln. Next. So English poet and playwright, famous plays include Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Merchant of Venice, and Hamlet. He is widely considered as the seminal writer of the English language. So comment niyo yung sagot niyo. Sino ba yan? Ah, okay. So if you say seminal, it's a very strong influence. Yeah, very influential. Honestly, I have tried. Ano ba yung binasa ko? But sobrang hirap talaga intindihin ng mga, yeah. I wish I am that, you know, ganun sana tayo, no? Ano ko na kayang feeling na you just understand these kind of works para naman ma ma maintindihan mo yung point of view ng author when they wrote it. I think it's very powerful. But yeah, you're correct. It's William Shakespeare. So, which play by William Shakespeare featured to ill-starred lovers who come from warring families? Yeah, see, Sir William Shakespeare, yung Bard of Avon. That's correct. I include ko sana kasi lang parang obvious na obvious na. Okay, that's right. So, diba? I don't know. What do you think? Nakita niyo ba yung, or nakita niyo ba yung movie ng Romeo and Juliet? Yung na rin, what I remember is just, you know, two very young people that are in love. I think they were 17 years old. Yung nakita kong version is yung si Haley Steinfeld, yung, yeah, uh, Juliet. So, they were so in love and then they both died at the end dahil sa katangahan nila. Huh. <laughs> but anyway, you're right. It's Romeo and Juliet. Yes, but this is uploaded to our YouTube. Don't worry. Anyway, who wrote Gulliver's Travels, A Modest Proposal, and A Tale of a Tub? So, nandito na tayo sa mga challenging parts. <laughs> who did it? So, who wrote? Okay, Taylor Swift. So, Gulliver's Travel, that is Jonathan Swift. So, si Jonathan Swift naman, he is an Anglo-Irish author who is regarded as one of the foremost prose satirists. I hope I'm correct. In the history of the English literature. So, ito yung mga sinulat niya. I think yung pinakasikat dyan is The Gulliver's Travels. So, yeah. Kailan po final coaching po, ma'am? Habol ako? Yes, of course. Just message exams, Jenny. Okay. So, that's between me and Ma'am Kim. Next. An 18th century British scholar who contributed to the fields of literature and writing. So, yung pinaka-notable na aspect sa kanya is he wrote a dictionary for the English language. Who is this person? So try commenting your answers. Yes, there are. Okay, may nagtanong, ma, may madadali po bang items sa major? Yes, there are. I remember at least, yeah, I, I, I had some. In fact, meron nga talagang actually lumabas sa na-review ko. Hindi naman lahat super duper hirap, you know, lumalabas din yung simile or yung lalo na sa grammar, sometimes. At meron ding, ano yun, sentence arrangement. Like, I remember yung sa dogs ata yung sentence naman. Yeah, you just arrange the sentence. There are things that are like that. And on the other end, meron din talaga super foreign. So yun talagang lumabas namin is yung, yeah, sa so research yun, 
and then like parang codes pa. So yeah, I really didn't know that. Yeah, I was so scared. Honestly, hindi ayo kong I'm shy na ipakita yung mukha ko after I took the board exam, but I cried so hard. That it's para yun sa major. Because as I as I told you, I was a lot, I was under pressure, and then I I studied for two years. I feel like sayang naman sayang yung effort at yung gastos ko. I really believe that I will fail because dahil sa major. But there are okay items, okay? Hindi naman. <laughs> <laughs> but zero ka talaga. Okay, so that is Samuel J Johnson. Correct. So, siya yung... Ito talaga si meme. <laughs> At least ngayon, di ba? Every time may lumabas na meme with this face, hoy, wag ganyan. That's Samuel Johnson. So, he made a significant... He made significant contributions to the field of literature and writing. Lalong-lalo na yung sa English Dictionary. Okay, next. A German poet, playwright, and author whose works include Faust, Wilhelm Meister's Apprenticeship, and Elective Affinates. Honestly, I'm also not familiar. At lalong lalo na nahirapan din akong basahin yung pangalan niya. But you can give it a try. Natawa ako kasi minsan you mention your friends, di ba? So, like, yeah. Sino ba si Charisse? Sh siya ba yung author? <laughs> I don't realize. Yung iba nag-comment sa correct answer, yung iba naman minu-mention yung friends nila. Okay, it's fine. Ito, sagutan ko na lang directly kasi hindi naman talaga siya, ano. But yeah, and also, I don't know how to read. Is this, how do you read this, guys? I, I always hear too, it's Johan or Johan. But anyway, yeah. Ayoko na lang itry basahin yung pangalan niya. Jo Johan Wolfgang von, yeah. <laughs> At least, diba? At least, I'm meeting that. So, yeah. So, his works include plays, poetry, literature, so aesthetic criticisms, yeah, and so on. So, ito yung mga famous works niya. That are, yeah, the notable ones. So, Faust, Wilhelm Meister's Apprenticeship, and Elective Affinites, okay? Okay lang yan. So, ah, it's go, yeah, hindi ko na lang talaga susubukan, guys. Baka iisipin nyo, ano ba naman to si ma'am? Okay, who wrote romantic fiction combined with social realism? Who wrote romantic fiction combined with social realism? Clue, babae. Ang hirap kasi with nouns is that yung may-ari ng pangalan is the one who gets to decide Paano yan basahin? It's the same. For example, kayo, magkakaanak kayo, or I don't know, baka may anak na kayo. Diba? Sometimes people will read the names of your children differently and you will correct them. Diba? So that's the problem with nouns. You can make your own name, you can make your own brand, tapos ikaw yung magde-decide how that's pronounced. That's why, for example, yung sa mga Vogue or, you know, Louis Vuitton. So, yeah. Sometimes will be corrected. No, no, ganyan yung pagbasa niyan. Okay, but yung mahirap chan is that there is no accurate pronunciation, diba? It's the owner who gets to decide. Okay, oh wow, why nakakuha na correct answer? Yeah, it's Austin, Jane Austen. So, obvious kasi kapag in include ko yung Pride and Prejudice. So, she is an English writer who first gave the novel its distinctly modern character. So, through her treatment of ordinary people in everyday life. So, ito yung mga sinulat niya. Sense and sensibility. So, ito lang talaga, pride and prejudice. But yung no talaga natin is romantic fiction combined with social realism. Ano ulit yung realism? It's the life of ordinary people. Okay, yung mga struggles ng mga ordinary people. So, yan yung major ni Jane Austen. Now, we are in the last part. Yes, yeah, I told you, it's less than an hour. Let's do the drill. Who is a French novelist and a short story writer who created characters of moral ambiguity, often based on his real own real-life examples? So, a French novelist. You can guess any French novelist. 
Okay, let me see. Some of you na nag review center ba kayo? <laughs> Basta French si Guy de Maupassant again. I did not include him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hindi ko na nga sana include si na ano eh, William Shakespeare. I'm sorry, hindi ko siya na include ah. Okay, it's yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, at least di ba na meet ni yung pangalan niya. Who knows? Baka lang ba siya? So at least you know na. Baka may tanong doon, who among the following is not an, an English writer? Tapos lumabas si Balzac. Oh, diba? So masagot niyo si Balzac. See, you'll never know. Next, let's proceed. A prolific author of magazine articles. Okay. Sumulat. Nagsulat. Ah, nag-review center kayo. That's good. That's good. Alam nyo, ma ma malaking advantage talaga pag mag-review center. If you can afford, why not? Diba? Kasi kapag self-review lang, yung kalaban mo, disiplina. Kasi you'll be like, ah, mamaya na, mag-aaral ako sa 6. Tapos pag naging 6.10, okay, mamaya na lang 6.30. Mamaya na lang 7. 7.30, 8.30, hanggang sa wala ka talagang nagawa. Compared sa sobrang mahal na review center, talagang oblige ka mag-aaral talaga ako kasi ang laki ng binayad ko, di ba? So talagang napapractice ka <laughs> kahit na tinatamad ka. So yeah, if, if you can afford, why not? All right, so that's correct. It's Alexander Duma. I'm not sure, do you read the letter S? So the, this one, sobrang dami kong masasabi. I really, really love The Count of Monte Cristo. I have read the book and I have watched the movie so many times. Promise, memorize ko na yung ano. Yeah, memorize ko na yung lines. It was so good. Yung favorite ko talagang line is yung I don't believe in God. And then sumagot yung freeze na it doesn't matter. He believes in you. Yeah, the Count of Monte Cristo is, is so good. It's about revenge, you know. It's about revenge. Yung, because he was annoying. See, si yung character. Yeah, yung character doon is si Edmond Dantes. He was imprisoned for something na, yeah, hindi naman niya intention, intention. And he was imprisoned out of spite na rin sa best friend niya, and so on. And so he was taken sa Devil's Island or Chateau Deef, if I'm reading it correctly, para siyang island prison. So wala ka talagang choice. Kapag kahit na makalaya ka, malulunod ka pa rin. And so, yeah, he, he went through a lot of struggles, at least for 16 years. Yeah. And then, while um, he was imprisoned, yung fiancé niya, si Mercedes, is na, uh, na nagpakasal sa best friend niya. Diba? So, si Fernand Mondego. Can you imagine na kulong ka, kahit inosente ka, tapos paglabas mo, malaman mo, yung fiancé mo is nakasal sa best friend mo. Oh my gosh. Basta guys, there's a lot of, you're missing a lot of things. Kapag best friend kita or close tayo, ipapa, you, have no, you have no choice. Talagang manunood ka ng The Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> All of my best friends, my family members, yeah, nanood sila na. Pina, pinanood ko sila ng The Count. But they still never appreciated it as much as I did. So yeah, sobrang gana talaga. Anyway, author is C. Alexander Duma. And I think this was inspired by Tama ba? Si yung sa work ni Dr. Rosarizal. I think, is that Nolly? So it was inspired by, yeah, the Count of Monte Cristo. Anyway, who is an English novelist and a poet whose best known work is J Jane Eyre? Eyre? Yeah, okay. Ah, il fili pala. Wow, thank you so much, guys. So who is this? Oh my God, really? My so my God. Guys, okay, Papa Sana Kayo. That's so nice. I'm so proud of you. That's Charlotte Bronte. I don't know how to read it. Okay, an American poet, writer, and a leading member of the transcendentalist movement. Okay, kapag may sumagot na isa, proceed kagan, okay? See, malapit pa rin ako mag one hour. I'm so talkative. I'm so sorry. Sa September, babaguhin ko na yung ano ko, ways. 
Ganito na lang palagi. <clears throat> okay, number one. Number two. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, someone still answer the correct answer. That's so smart. Okay, so that's Henry David Thoreau. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yan siya. Next, an English novelist best known for her novel, Wuthering Heights. So who is this English novelist best known for her novel, Wuthering Heights? So you can comment your answers. So same family name pa rin nung, yeah, there. It's Emily Bronte. <laughs> Bront or Bronte. Yeah. Again, kapag proper nouns, I'm really not sure how to read it. Let's proceed. Kapag hindi ito masagot. Kapag hindi ito masagot, guys. Really. What is the pen name of Mary Ann Evans? Okay, it's... <laughs> Finally, my something din na. <laughs> Alam natin na. <laughs> okay, so it's George Eliot. Next, an Oxford mathematician whose famous work is Alice in Wonderland. Can you imagine? Nas Oxford mathematician pa siya, tapos nasulat niya pa yung Alice in Wonderland. Minsan may isip mo, no? ano pa yung purpose natin dito sa mundong ito? No? Yung umulan na katanilnuhan, na kagandahan, nakuha na nila. Yeah. Okay, that's correct. It's... Yeah, you're all commenting it. So, see si Carol, Louis Carroll. Who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Para ano pang aking pag-account? <laughs> it's H-H-H, all right. Harper Lee, next. Okay, we're almost there. Who wrote Summer Solstice? Summer Solstice in five, four, Three, two, one. At least na practice kayo, diba? I mean, na refresh. Yan ang talaga yung point ng pag-review. Ma-refresh sa inyo. <laughs> okay, iba-iba ng sagot. It's Nick Joaquin. Nick Joaquin. <laughs> Sabi niya, Ma'am, hindi pa po ako naka-screenshot. Oh, really? Oh, really? Hihitayin ko pa kayo? Okay. So, it's Nick Joaquin, okay? Next, who wrote Crime Punishment? Crime Punishment. I think ito yung isa sa mga works sa, yeah, realism or realist. Yes po, uploaded. No, it's not Kihano. Kihano, family name yun ang classmate ko. It's FFF. Pwede po pa-extend ng live, ma'am. Gusto ko sana eh, kaya lang baka ma- you know, mapagod naman kayo sa mukha ko. <laughs> you can scan my YouTube, okay? Nandun yun, marami ito. <laughs> okay, that's right. It's Fyodor Dostoyevs. Yeah, basta yan na yan. Okay, si Fyodor. FD. Next, the hand of the enemy. The hand of the enemy. Uploaded po ba ito agad? Actually, in-upload ko naman agad, but I removed the parts na nagdadaltal ako. Kawawa naman yung mga tao manunood sa YouTube, di ba? Tayo nag i sa comments, tapos hindi kaya sila kasaling. Okay. Right, that's correct. So, it's talaga pulutan lang yung naalala ni Ma'am. Nasaan yun? Si Ma'am Rika, o. Oh, natawa pa siya sa pulutan. I'm sure iba yung gusto mong gawin sana ngayon. Nasaan? Nasaan yung pulutan? <laughs> so the hand of the enemy, it's Karima Pulutan to Vera. How about Animal Farm? Animal Farm? <laughs> Mga ilang authors lumalabas sa major ship? <clears throat> yeah, it really depends. Yung naalala ko talaga, kasi hindi ko nasagutan, si ano si Mary Ann Evans. Pero yung tanong is, ano yung work ni Mary Ann Evans? And I answer differently. Hindi ko sinagot yung Silas Marner. Alam nyo, 
after the exam, nalaman ko na ang dami kong incorrect answers kasi nakipag-usap agad ako sa matalino kong classmate. <clears throat> and sobrang dami niyang alam. That, oh my gosh, and I'm such a big fan of her. Kaya nag-usap agad ako. Yeah, nag-usap agad ako. Ano, anong sinagot niyo sa mga ganito, ganito, ganito? So kung ayaw niyong manega, yeah, huwag kayong makipag-usap after. Punta kayo, you, you meet your family, you meet your friends, at doon kayo mag, you know, mag-vent. Kasi if you talk to your classmates, you will know na, ah, mali pala yung sagot ko. <laughs> Tapos board exam na yan. Nakakalungkot naman. Okay, that's George Orwell. Correct. Next, Dead Stars. Sino ang nagsulat ng Dead Stars? Comment your answers. Yeah, what man ko tudlo i-anis ako maistra sa una mama. Okay, translation. Hindi daw ito naturo ng mga guro. Siguro absent ka. Mm. Or nag-snacks. Okay, that's correct. It's pa, pa, pa. Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. The Trial. Kanina, kanina, kanina. Diniscuss ko to, guys. The Trial is... Sino nagsulat? Oh, di ba? Meron na naman mag-mention ng friends nila. <laughs> Sino ba si Maine? Si May ba yung nagsulat ng the trial? All right, that's right. So that is Kafka, friends. Kafka, correct. Next, how my brother Leon brought home a wife. Ito, I think, lumabas din ito. So who wrote this one? How my brother Leon brought home a wife. Okay, so it's, oh my gosh, nakuma. Sana ito yung questions, di ba? Okay, that's manual. R, yeah, yan. Uh -huh. R, Gilia. I, I hope. Who wrote Mrs. Dalloway? Who wrote Mrs. Dalloway? Last na lang ito. Yes, we did it less than an hour. Almost an hour. Also, pang dinner na rin kasi. Tapos, pagod na ako lumabas at sobrang mahal magba-deliver. Kaya, magluluto na lang ako ng corned beef. <laughs> Sino taga si Bujan? Ano dinner niyo? Baka ano lang tayo, neighbors. Okay, that's right. So it's Virginia Woolf. So that's it for my lectures. Yung next lecture ko will be about methodologies. Okay, but that will be yeah, next week. If you did not yet join, you can join my final coaching with Mom Kimberly Jovida. And you can also join our final coaching para sa aming, yeah, Prof Ed and Jen Ed. So you have, oh my gosh, less than two weeks. Uh, don't drain yourself, okay? Yung pinaka-importante pa rin, the one that will help you pass the board exam is yourself. So, alagaan ang sarili, okay? Kapag pagod na kayo mag-review, o oh, magpa-baby naman kayo konti, okay? But, don't be lazy. So, sayang yung bayad, kaya don't be lazy, okay? This is first and last take, or your last take, hopefully. I will see you again soon. Okay, thank you guys. Bye! Happy dinner!